I tried selling products on Amazon, and in this video, I'm peeling back the curtain to show you what I sold on Amazon, how much profit I actually made, and the costs that go into it, and if I think that selling on Amazon is still a good business opportunity for you to start today. Because when I first started selling on Amazon, there wasn't a ton of great information out on YouTube. It took me forever to learn the ropes and show you a lot of the stuff that I'm going to break down in today's video. A lot of new entrepreneurs also tend to have some really big misconceptions when it comes to all these different online business models that you see. And personally, I've tried drop shipping, affiliate marketing, marketing, a ton of other hustles, and eventually Amazon FBA was the one that clicked for me. If you're brand new to the channel, my name's Warner Fields. I've been selling on Amazon for about six years now, started with about 1500 bucks to my name, and now I do a couple million dollars a year. So I'm super excited to get into this video with you guys. No more beating around the bush. Let's jump into it. So we're going to get into all the fun stuff, what products to sell, all the costs and actual profit. But I just want to start in case you're brand new to the concept. If you have not yet created an Amazon seller account, it costs $40 a month to be a seller on Amazon's platform. You can sign up right here at sell.amazon.com. Typically, it'll take you about a week or two for your account to get verified. So if this has been something you've been deep on the YouTube binge on, you've been thinking about, I'd really just encourage you to get that account set up. You can always cancel that monthly membership if you end up not liking Amazon, but it does take a second for everything to get set up so you can start making those sales. And especially if you're watching this video as it's coming out in the back half of the year right now, every single day is extremely valuable because we get closer and closer to the Christmas sales rush. And for this video, that's the specific month that I want to break down so I can show you how big this opportunity is. This is my Amazon seller dashboard. You can see from December 2023, which was last Christmas season, the best month of the year to be an Amazon seller. And during that month, I did about $422,000 in sales. We're going to break down profit, all that kind of stuff on this. And this is also been my best month as an Amazon seller so far. I'm expecting this Christmas will be even better. Outside of the holiday season though, we typically do anywhere from two to $300,000 a month. So I'm still very happy with where the business is running, but I want to specifically break down one of my favorite months as an Amazon seller so you can see the true potential. And when it comes to running up big sales numbers like this, a lot of people aren't specifically talking about which products you can be on the lookout for. And so that's where I want to break down just a super quick example of something that I found recently that we're going to sell on Amazon. And specifically here, this is a toy type product. So it's going to do great during the holiday rush. You can see it sells about 120 times a month on Amazon. The current price is $25. And a lot of people overthink this part where it actually comes to finding products. They think you have to work with big wholesalers or create your own product yourself, all that kind of stuff. But in reality, that's just not true. And we can find items like this directly at the brand's website today. You can buy that for about $11. We make $5 on every sale here and it sells over hundred times a month. And this is also where the first cost involved with selling on Amazon comes into play, which is software. The major tool that you'll use to basically calculate profits, find products, all that kind of stuff is called Selleramp. It's about 20 bucks a month. You can try it for free down below. But now that you can see a specific example of the types of products that I like to sell on Amazon, let me quickly show you how I find even more winning products. So replicate this, what I'm about to do here. Basically, what I like to do is go ahead and head down to the offers tab on Selleramp. This is where I can see how much other competition I'm going to have when I try to sell this product. So for example, today I can see all these seems like it's the same store. So I have basically one competitor on this listing. See, it's all the same name. So if I'm selling this for 25 bucks, I can split those 120 sales. I can make 60 sales a month on this item. And you can see right there, that would be 250 to 300 bucks in profit after it's all said and done. So now that we have one quick example, we can use this to find lots of other profitable products based on the research that some of these other stores have done here, right? So what I like to do is I'll open up the storefront of the other sellers that I'm trying to compete with basically. And specifically, just because I know that it seems like there's a pretty good sale on some Funko items, it's going to be a good holiday item that I'll be selling. Let's just go ahead and specifically zero in on that brand there. And you can see Funko, for example, there. And the reason why that makes it way simpler for you is you can just niche down into a brand that you, you already know is cheap. You already know you can sell it on Amazon. And obviously this seller has done some of the research to find stuff at the Funko website where it's more profitable on Amazon, basically. So let's do a little bit of quick digging here. Let's see if we can find a quick profitable item. And so to do that on SellerAmp, I'll hit this Google button and the Amazon button. That's basically just going to type that title into Google for me. I look that up automatically. So I can see, it seems like right there, it might be 1350 at the Funko website. This today is 26 bucks. So let's dive deep on that. And I also see this is like 450. So I want to check those out too. So let's see if 1350. Okay. Unfortunately, this one's out of stock would be good to know. Sometimes these websites, if you want to start getting some leads on autopilot, they might have a box where it says enter your email and we'll let you know when it's back in stock. And that's something I like to do, but finding more products to sell on Amazon is all about adjacent opportunity based on the fact that 
that this did well and that last Funko item we already looked at and that this one is so much cheaper than the normal. Let's go ahead and see if just this item, we weren't even coming from this storefront here. Let's just go ahead and see if this specific item is any more expensive on Amazon basically. So what I'll do is I'll hit that seller amp Chrome extension up there. So when you press that Chrome extension button up there, it's going to automatically search that title based on the web page we're looking at. And in this example, it seems like it might have found something profitable for us here. It's telling me that the max cost for me to be profitable on this item is about six bucks. I'm looking at it for 450 right here. Based on that adjacent opportunity, we have another item where we can buy it for 450, sells for 1603 on Amazon, and we make we almost double our money every single time this item sells. And another thing that's interesting to look at, like we were talking about, like how much competition do I really have on this listing? On this listing, we have FBM and FBA sellers, and we'll talk about what that means and which one's best for you. But see, most of the sales on this listing here is probably going to be going to the FBA sellers. Those are the prime eligible sellers. You can see it ships from Amazon. Customers get it in two days. That's basically how it works. And so in this example, I'd probably have about four competitors where that price is somewhat reasonable. I would be the fifth. So I could come in here and sell 25 or so every month. So something like that's another hundred bucks a month or so in profit, right? And real quick, before we jump on to the next step, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're finding value, that helps me out a ton for adding some value to your business today. So I'm trying not to get too technical on the product research side. Hopefully that makes sense. That's how I find the vast majority of my winning products. But now that you know how to find products, what specific products you can even sell on Amazon, let's go ahead and break down some of those hard numbers and figure out how much of that $422,000 was actually profit. Because obviously that's really important before you jump into a business. You want to know what profit margins look like, all that good stuff. So overall revenue was about $422,000. The biggest cost involved with creating revenue is obviously going to be the cost of buying products. So for me, I spent about $218,000 on products in order to make those sales happen. That percentage compared to how much revenue I did is a little bit higher than I usually like to look for. If you can turn every $1 you spend into about $2 in revenue, so you'd want to be a closer to 50% where I was closer to 53, 54%, your business is going to be super healthy. Another $115,000 of that month went to Amazon fees, which might sound insane if you've never looked at Amazon before. In my mind, they're fairly reasonable since those Amazon fees include finding the customer. That includes picking and packing every order and shipping those orders out to the customers. There's no shipping costs involved once those items get to Amazon FBA. And also included in those fees are all the marketing ads, all that kind of stuff, which is the main benefit of selling name brand products on Amazon is you don't have to spend a single dime on buying customers. Amazon does all that work for you as long as you're selling those in-demand name brand products that are already selling. If you went out and created your own product listings, your own brand, that kind of stuff, you would have an advertising budget. But if you just want to sell name brand products at scale, typically not really going to have any marketing budget required on Amazon. Also deducted from that revenue is going to be software. So for me, I use four major tools. The first is Selleramp, which we looked at. The second is called Keepa. That's another 20 bucks a month and it helps with product research. The third is called Boxum. That costs you about $50 a month and it basically tracks my profit. It lets me create shipments, all that kind of stuff. And it does some higher level things and a super important hack that I'm going to show you guys here in just a second. Boxum is about 50 bucks a month. And then the fourth tool that I use is a repricer called Be Cool. And that one costs me about a hundred dollars a month. But specifically when it comes to repricers, yours would be cheaper as a beginner. You can start that one at about $25 a month. And then I also had some more costs associated with the outsourcing that I like to do in my business. None of this would necessarily be required if you just wanted to work really long hours. That's not really what I like to build the business for. So I also had about $15,000 in prep center fees, which basically they receive and ship out all the inventory. And then also within that $15,000 is the salaries that I pay to my virtual assistant team. And they're the ones who actually find a lot of the products that I sell, buy them for me, all that kind of stuff so that I can focus on growing the business and just spending more time with friends and family, the type of stuff that we build businesses to do in the first place. So after it's all said and done, it was about $74,000 in gross profit. And then after all my expenses, it was a little under $60,000 dollars in true net profit. So those are my honest results on a recent month of selling on Amazon. So let's talk about a couple things that are great about Amazon and a couple things that are not so great that I want you to be aware of before you jump into selling products on Amazon. The first thing that's amazing about selling on Amazon is the FBA model makes it really easy to scale your business. Amazon as a platform is also just extremely scalable. So like we were talking about with the fee breakdown, about 30% of my revenue went to covering Amazon fees. But the massive benefit there is that Amazon is doing all the work of finding customers 
orders. They're shipping out the orders once those products actually sell. And so it massively simplifies starting a business where especially if this is the first time you thought about starting something online, it can feel really overwhelming to create the marketing, the packaging, go out and find the customers, making a website, all that kind of stuff. Where with Amazon, all I have to do is get really good at finding products that already sell super well as cheap as possible. That is the entire game. And now the downside to that is that if you're only reselling other people's name brands, you have less exit value. So if you want to build a company that you can eventually sell, it's going to be way harder to sell something like that, where you'd basically be able to sell the systems, you could sell the team, all that kind of stuff, but you're not going to get the same kind of multiple if you're hoping to exit a business for millions of dollars, that kind of thing, like you might if you created your own brand. Since something like that comes with trademarks and lots of other stuff that is easier to tie directly to something that's sellable, basically. Another major pro of selling products on Amazon is that it can be a laptop business for you. So I personally have some friends who have been living abroad for several months and they're running Amazon businesses that are entirely contained in the United States using prep centers, all that kind of stuff that I was briefly touching on, where you don't actually have to be the one to physically touch your items, shipping products out, all that kind of stuff. If you want it to be that, that digital nomad type lifestyle that you might see all over Instagram and stuff like that, it really can be. Just keep in mind that your profits will be a little bit lower than someone who's going out of the warehouse and working super hard every day, which, you know, kind of makes sense. But the fact that you can turn your Amazon business into whatever your dream business looks like to you, whatever your dream day-to-day -day work schedule, whether you want to work a couple hours a day and make decent money or work a ton every single day and build an empire, it's totally up to you. And now the second major con of selling on Amazon that I also want to make sure you're aware of, this is probably the case with basically any business that relies on another platform, is there's going to be changes that are out of your control. Amazon's going to change policies. They might go in and say, hey, you're not allowed to sell these certain products. You have a month to sell out, that kind of thing. And if that was the vast majority of your business, then it's just on you to find something new, find new favorite products that you like to sell. And I can tell you from personal experience that I've had to be adaptable, change how I source certain products, completely stop selling certain brands that were really good for me. But the good part about that is that as long as you're a problem solver, you're adaptable, that kind of thing, it can just be a good challenge to roll with. And since there's about eight to 900,000 products on Amazon that sell at least 30 times a month, Amazon doesn't sell and the brand doesn't sell themselves. There's still plenty of opportunity and literally hundreds of thousands of products that if you can find them cheap enough, you can make a profit selling. So even though you're likely to run into some roadblocks, you're going to have some headaches when it comes to pretty much any business. There's still plenty of opportunity. There's a blue ocean of opportunity on Amazon for you to expand and grow into. And it took me years of selling on Amazon, of making mistakes, learning the ropes, all that good stuff to be able to hit massive months like that. It's not going to take you as long since you're here on the YouTube channel, you're diving in, you got lots of great free information to start with. So I want to talk about the single most important thing that's going to help you scale way faster than anybody else selling products on Amazon. And that thing is speed. Because when a lot of new sellers start selling on Amazon, they're only using the FBA platform, which is basically where we ship all of the items in all at once to Amazon, cost you about 60 cents a pound to buy the shipping. And then Amazon shuffles all that around to their fulfillment centers, trying to get it to as many places in the country as possible to get that two day prime shipping all over the country for your products, basically. But obviously, when you're hearing that you're hearing that there's also a lag time involved in shipping those products off to Amazon, waiting for them to shuffle it around, checking in all that kind of stuff. And so what the fastest growing Amazon sellers will do, and you will do this too, if you're serious about making money online is called FBM. And basically what that means is you see how on this page right here where it says ships from this LLC name and sold by that LLC name. That means that this seller has received this item from their supplier. They list it on Amazon via FBM. And then as soon as you do that, your items are immediately available for sale. You're available for people to start buying your products, right? So the downside to doing this, obviously it sounds great. You make money faster, all that kind of stuff. The major downside is number one, you're doing all the work yourself. You're actually boxing them up. You're shipping it out to customers. So it's a little less scalable and it does take work like we're talking about or the added benefit of making money faster. So it's not a terrible trade, right? And the really important thing to think about is that some listings specifically aren't going to share the buy box if you're an FBM seller. So sales on Amazon, it's all about winning this button that says add to cart right there. And typically when you are the same price and same fulfillment speed as everyone else on the listing, so you can get it to them in two days, five days, whatever it is, just matching everybody else, basically, those sales are going to evenly rotate between all the sellers who meet that. So on this listing, you can see that if we jump into the Keepa chart down here. So this is one of those other softwares we were talking about. See up on the top bar, it shows me a little bit of orange and a little bit of blue, and it's cycling back and forth a little bit. Anytime you see the blue up there, those are FBM sales happening. And anytime you see the orange, those are FBA sales happening. So when I look at this listing right here, this shows me that there's some nice natural kind of sale rotation happening between FBM and FBA sellers. This would be an example of a product that you probably could list via FBM and make some sales. Whereas this example we were looking at a second ago, if we mouse over that Keepa 
Sepa chart, you can see there's a lot of orange. There's a, there's a little bit of blue. Maybe you can try it, but it seems like it's mostly orange. And when you check out the seller ant buy box statistics here, you can see that if we filter by type, so FBM, there hasn't been a ton of FBM sales going on in here, but I do see just now an FBA sale four days, six days ago, 18, 14 hours ago, one day ago, two days ago, two hours ago. So you can see how it works, right? A ton of these sales are going to FBA sellers and a little bit less, I'd say a lot less are actually going to the FBM sellers. Now, if you really want to scale your business with FBA, and this is the vast majority of what my business is now, I just like I was talking about, I like to build my business as something that I can run somewhat remotely. That's where I use a thing called 2D barcodes, which you can create through Boxum here. And Amazon themselves even suggest that sellers use 2D barcodes on all of their products, but they don't give you any way to create it, which has been saying to me, but we can go ahead and create them on all of our FBA shipments. Whenever you're creating a shipment through Boxum, which is the tool that creates shipments, all that kind of stuff. There's full guides on the channel if you want to see each of these individual tools broken down. All I need to do is make sure that my box contents are selected as 2D barcodes. I go through the process of creating a shipment, all that kind of stuff. And then as you're printing out the FBA box labels, so you'll print a label out like this, you'll slap it on your box with all your products in it. It just adds this barcode to the bottom and it basically helps speed up your check-in times at Amazon FBA. So for me, I make sales about five days faster on all of the items that I ship to Amazon FBA simply by using that 2D barcode that literally takes me zero extra time to add onto my products. So those are two extremely important ways to increase the speed in your business so you can start making faster revenue. That is extremely important. I would have been able to hit that $400,000 a month way quicker if I had used those two plus all the other stuff we're talking about. And then one more thing I will suggest to those of you who are actually serious about this vets out a lot of the people who aren't so serious and those who are willing to get out there, look a little bit silly and make a lot more money doing it. That is simply going out and finding a couple of Amazon seller friends to talk to, right? So in my Amazon business, I didn't even know that you could sell name brand products, just buying from retailers and that kind of stuff until literally over a year into my business because I had no Amazon seller friends and I didn't know anyone in the space who wasn't just repeating the same stuff on social media. You see a lot of people like, oh, you can't do this. You can't do this. You can't do this. And then you get out there and you talk to other couple other people who are actually doing it, not just sitting on the sidelines, making stuff up in the comment section. Once you start building those relationships with other Amazon sellers, it's like, oh, okay, I can do this. I didn't know I could source products from XYZ website or, hey, I just got this IP complaint or this account health complaint. Can you help me beat that? I know you just ran into that last week. There is so much value in having two to three other Amazon sellers you talk to consistently. And the easiest way to go ahead and start making those connections is literally for free, right? So hop into free Discord groups. I've got one down below that you can check out. Also comes with a free course and all that kind of stuff. It's also a really good idea just to document your progress, post the pictures of whatever you're working on for your Amazon business every day, every other day, whatever it is on Instagram, Twitter, whatever you're most comfortable with. Literally just exist in public, make a specific page dedicated to your Amazon business. And you also, when you jump on there, you'll see a lot of other small social media accounts trying to do the exact same thing. They're trying to find people like you to bounce ideas off of, source products together, all to build empires together, basically. Since Amazon is such a big blue ocean, there's so much opportunity. Don't let the limitation of, oh, if I help this one person, I'm going to make less money on my business. Don't let that hold you back. There's so much opportunity out there. And the more you share, the more it comes back around to you. Trust me, as soon as I started doing that for my Amazon business, it went from 20 to 30,000 bucks a month on my own, feeling a little bit stuck to six figures a month, literally within six months of starting to put myself out there and talk to other people in the community. So hopefully you found this video useful and got a ton of value from it. If you don't already have the essential tools to get started selling products on Amazon, you can check out free trials of Selleramp and Boxum down below. Go ahead and test those out for completely free. Start shipping in some products, source a couple products, spend 50 to 100 bucks, whatever you got to do to prove to yourself that this stuff is legit. It's not just some people making stuff up on the internet. If you want to see some more normal people talking about selling on Amazon, just so you know this stuff is legit, I'll leave a playlist right here. There's about 30 videos of real people talking about their Amazon journey and how they were able to scale to make a pretty good income online. Let me know down below if you have any questions or comments. Always happy to answer those down below, but I really appreciate you watching this video and I will see you next time.